wondering where you went. Where else would I be? You're always going to find me here. Oh. Where are the rest? Oh, they're on that way. How's my favorite graduate doing? Fine. Good, I guess. Shouldn't I be? You don't have to be. I don't know, John. This is all just a bit too much for me. I know. You know, I, I thought by now I'd stop thinking about Bobby. That I would be able to come down here and, and not have his memory just wash over me. But for some reason I keep thinking he's somewhere out there. In some form waiting for me to come find him. <laughs> that him being gone a year is not big enough for me. I don't know, Sarah. Maybe, maybe it's just some walled game of hide and seek, you know. Bobby's out there waiting for us to find him. Okay, Bobby, you win. It's not funny. You still have me. You always will. <laughs> Thank you, John. Anyway, tonight's not about sinking into despair. Let's drink until we want. To the last 18 years of our lives, stuck in this endless rotten pit. You're a morbid girl, Sarah Locke. I blame this town. <laughs> Generous man. <laughs> it's finally over. All of it. Graduation, four years of institutionalized hell, having to face headmaster Hawthorne every single day. Uh, all of it. And I couldn't be happier. You know, I'm gonna miss the hawk. Yeah, he could be awful at times, but I truly believe he was a good man at heart. <laughs> Shut up, Lucy. I swear on my life, that man Sold his soul to the devil. No, he is the devil, an old corrupt devil. Thank God we never have to see him again. He hated me so much. He hated all of us. <laughs> Except for Bobby, of course. He loved him. I mean, I guess everyone did. Is it really all over? Yeah. We're finally here. Yeah, I don't know what to do with myself now. Anything. You're a free girl. For a couple of months. And we all leave for school. It's going to be so weird. We've gone to school with each other for the last 13 years. And at the end of the summer, everything we ever knew won't matter anymore. Yeah, it'll be different. Very different. I don't think I'm ready. I'm glad, though. I want to get the hell out of this place. A life outside of here. I just can't picture it. it seems like just yesterday we were playing hide and seek out in the marsh this summer. Now here we are. Are we still going to be friends after we leave? You know, I'm afraid we're going to grow apart. Of course we'll still be friends. I mean, we'll make new ones, of course, but no friends compared to childhood friends, am I right? Really? We've watched each other grow up. We've seen each of our best selves and each of our worst selves. And we remain best friends throughout all of it. There's no way a few hundred miles is going to change that. I guess you're right. Can we all promise that we're going to stay best friends after we leave? Can we promise that? After everything that's happened, we can't just walk away from it all. Uh, yeah, of course. John? Yeah. Good. See, Sarah, college won't change us. We won't let it. Yeah, it is. What would it be like if Bobby was still here? Shut up about Bobby, Sarah. It's been a year. We need to move on. It's not that easy, though. Hey, not for me. Why isn't it? You didn't know him like I did. None of you did. So does that make you better than us? You may have been the closest to him. But by this point in your life, you should have accepted the truth and moved on. How in a couple of months, you'll be starting a new life, away from all this. When you leave for college, will you still be the same? It's an opportunity to get away. I'm not you going can't to just ruin it merely the shadow of a person. I'm not going to university. What? <laughs> I called the school, I told them I can't go. Sarah, why are you doing this to yourself? I decided I can't leave Bobby. Not like this. He was everything to me. I owe him this much. What, Sarah? What do you owe him? Just to be 
by his side a little longer. It's the least I can do. Sir, it really doesn't have to be this way. You hated him more than any of us. I can't leave, John. I'm just not ready to leave him. So you're throwing your life away for a dead body. Are you out of your mind? Please, can we not do this right now? It seems that way, doesn't it? He's dead, Sarah. Gone. He's never coming back. You can't do this to yourself. Please, stop. But I have to. Don't you think I tried to accept what's happened? It's been a year. 365 days of regret. <laughs> Wishing I could just see him one more time. Just one more time to tell him I love him. But I can't. I can't because the days keep swallowing me whole. They keep pushing me forwards, or it's irrevocably forwards. And as each day passed, I felt I was getting farther and farther away from tangibly knowing him, touching him. I feel I can't breathe. Each minute getting stuck in my throat, refusing to pass through me. I believe I am dying, waking up every day of my life facing the culture that I will never see Bobby again. I believe I am truly dying. So why don't you, Sarah? You're basically dead already. Why don't you tell me? Shut up! Just shut up! Why can't we all just be happy? Bobby didn't drown. What? I said he didn't drown. He killed himself. He threw himself into the <coughs> water and never surfaced. How do you know this? I let it happen. I was in love with him. I was so madly in love with him. No, you didn't, Sarah. 
It's not your fault. If it's not my fault, whose is it? Does it have to be anyone's? Sorry, Sarah. This past year, I was so hung up. I just wished I could undo it all. I kept telling myself the way things ended was all my fault. And that's why it's so hard for me to forget him. It's impossible to forget someone you destroyed. You didn't destroy him. But I did. The next day, he was gone. He was gone. Why did you go? I, I was scared. I, I was hopeless. I had nowhere to go. I could have changed, Bobby. I, I should have. No, you couldn't have. You shouldn't have. I, I hadn't expected you to. Bobby, I was just so naive. Aren't we all? It gets the better of us sometimes. Look at you. All washed up in regret. I never meant for any of this to happen. You must know that. If I had just seen you one more time. Bobby! Look what all of this has done to me! No, I, I was going mad. Truly mad. I thought I would never see you again. Sarah, why do you live in such a dying contempt? I've been so helpless this past year, Bobby. I didn't know what to do with myself. This? This is your life. Sarah, this is your life passing right before you. And if you don't wake up, all be gone before you know it. Hold it. Perish <coughs> it. Don't let even a second of it slip away. I love you, Bobby. I love you too. Now, you better get on with your life before it gets too far ahead of you. What about you? You know where to find me. Dark waters under River Oak sustain a life no one would imagine. Soft lulls of the currents carried my body in a discordance so lonely I sometimes thought my veins would freeze over. Sometimes I looked up. Watch the distorted jetties above me. I had seen you there on occasion. Sitting melancholy with your feet dangling off the edge. <clears throat> I've come to memorize the shape and the color of the soles of your shoes. These conditions of the power to fill you up. I miss you. I can't deny that. I've always had a certain fondness for the past. When they stopped looking for me, I truly believed I was forgotten about. That the whole world went on with their lives. And it was just a thought passed through their minds in dreary nights. But when I look up, when I look up and I see the soles of your shoes, I remember. I, I remember that there is always a break in the monotony of chaos in this world, and that's you. That is you, Sarah Law. resurrected. 
You resurrect me whenever I feel I'm going to slip into oblivion.